Today's presentation is on the impact of not allowing rotary erasers on FDOT pavement marking removal projects. Today, we will review three impacts to not allowing rotary erasers on FDOT projects. Let's begin with our introduction. Located in Pompano Beach, Smith Manufacturing is the premier manufacturer of high-performance surface preparation removal equipment and cutters since 1990. The Smith brand promise is on-time delivery of fast, easy, and effective removal tools and expertise designed to help our customers remove faster with better surface finishes. Smith machines and cutters are used by hard-working contractors and government maintenance operators to remove stripes without scarring the pavement surface. For example, Smith equipment is used to grind down sidewalk trip hazards. In snow country, Smith equipment is used to groove inlay asphalt and concrete to recess permanent stripes below the snow plow line. Smith equipment is also used to prepare surfaces with the right profile to assure a successful bond with new pavement markings. Let's begin with FDOT MOT specifications and the three state specifications that refer to removal process. Removal of existing markings such that scars or traces of removed markings will not conflict with new pavement markings by a method approved by the engineer. Secondly, remove conflicting pavement markings using a method that will not damage the surface texture of the pavement and which will eliminate the previous marking pattern regardless of weather and light conditions. Finally, remove all pavement markings that will conflict with the adjusted vehicle paths using a method that will not damage the surface texture of the pavement and which will eliminate the previous marking pattern regardless of weather and light conditions. The common theme is, remove the stripe, not the road. Let's review the acceptable removal methods permitted by contractors and engineers on FDOT striping projects. Sand blasting, shock blasting, and water blasting. To expand on why water blasting is used, it leaves a clean, dust-free finish, and on protected surfaces like concrete, it completely removes the stripe, leaving the pavement intact. Here's a representation of the water blast removal process. A series of rotary spray nozzles deliver high-pressure water to the surface, leaving a bevel edge finish. Thicker materials like thermoplastic, epoxies, and tapes require increased pressure to break up the materials. When this happens, the impacted surface, including unprotected asphalt, is hit with extreme pressure, causing the sand and binder holding the surface together to loosen and dislodge, causing undermining of the surface. The Asphalt Institute lists water as one of the major causes of pavement degradation, causing road rutting, noticeable several months after the process. In many cases, the only thing left that's holding the road together is the striping material itself. Common stripe removal equipment that engineers currently do not accept on temporary or existing pavements include grinding, a loosely used term to describe any mechanical rotary or real type drum application. But actually, grinding is a rotary rotation used primarily with diamond or abrasive hard sanding discs. A very popular method for removing striping and pavement is using cold planing drums. This process is why the specifications were written in the first place and are banned. And rightfully so, because due to its vertical cutting style, destructive trenches are gouged into the surface. A scarifier differs from a planer because when properly used, is far less destructive to the pavement and can capture more of the striping material when used properly such as allowing the cutters to float on the surface. A scarifier is a removal machine containing a vertically spinning shaft drum, cage, or reel that employs flailing cutters. 
It is designed to chip off the pavement marking material in a vertical cutting motion, leaving a grooved textured surface mark. Because of the removal action of vertical cuts, and when contractors are seeking to remove the material quickly, grooves are quickly created, causing scars into the surface, something the state specifications are looking to avoid. It is because of scarring, undulations, and ghost lines left in the surface that scarifiers, like planers, are not permitted for removal jobs. The scarifier, however, does have a place in FDOT projects. Here, we represent the best scarifier uses for jobs requiring removal of flaking paint and surface preparation prior to permanent striping. In snow country, a scarifier with sharp-edged grooving is ideal for recessing stripes below the plow line. And on projects where the surface will be repaved, the scarifier is a perfect choice to remove material faster, leaving a textured profile best for seeding the asphalt overlayment material. Here is a variety of scarifiers that are used by contractors and maintenance operators that you will see on various FDOT jobs. Which brings us to the purpose of this presentation, and that is to distinguish between the scarifier machines and the rotary eraser machines. A rotary eraser is a removal machine containing a rotary disc with cutters that spin horizontally using a scraping and breaking action to remove pavement markings, leaving a bevel edge, no groove surface finish. Where a scarifier leaves a sharp vertical mark, the rotary eraser, like the water blaster, uses the same rotary action to leave a soft bevel edge finish that does not allow water to collect. Contractors who bring these machines to the job are not permitted to use them because the engineer has not been provided with enough clear information that there is a difference between erasers and scarifiers. It is important to understand that it's the rotation and not the machine that causes road scarring and grooving. These affordable erasers can do the work of a water blaster at a fraction of the cost. These machines are also already in the hands of contractors who employ them on county and city jobs, as well as some FDOT jobs, knowing that it does a better job than a water blaster. The issue for engineers is that they are not looking underneath the machines to determine if the machine uses a rotary or vertical cutting action. The best way to determine this is by inspecting the power source. For instance, a vertical engine or shafted motor uses a rotary eraser cutter. Contractors experienced in using both water and rotary erasing equipment have quickly learned the value of erasing when accepted, since it costs less to operate, uses no water, does not undermine or cause road rutting, and can be bid for a fraction of the cost over water blasting. The Smith X3 Eraser is a very popular machine used by contractors and maintenance personnel alike, and can be powered by a number of existing trucks, pickups, skid loaders, and more. Plus, with the addition of a vacuum system, results in a clean, dust-free operation. In conclusion, it's the rotation that produces scarring and damage to the surface. We are proposing clear language in FDOT specifications that would differentiate between rotary erasing and drum cutter styles. Rotary leaves a bevel edge finish, ideal for cleanly removing markings while scarifier drum cutters leave a grooving texture finish, more ideally suited for surface preparation prior to striping. Adding this language will eliminate confusion on the job, help the project engineer and striping contractor adhere to removal specifications, as well as reduce the time and cost of removal, job delays, and asphalt surface maintenance. For more information and to download specifications, please visit removefaster.com. At this time, we will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you for your attention.